Many people have been asking, how do I make my games? And I'm going to show you how I use Advanced Map in the past to make my own Pokemon game. This uses binary hacking, so you put in the game and you make changes from it as it is. If you want to do more advanced changes, you need to use decompilation, which I do in my latest streams, but that's a whole different story. So to get started, download Advanced Map, open it up, and then put in the game of your choice. It has to be a Generation 3 advanced game, so in this case I've used Emerald. From there you'll see, straight on the left hand side, all of your towns. So you open one up and you'll be get greeted with this map screen. Here you can start making changes. On the right hand side is all the tiles. If you want to change the tiles, go to header, pick the tile set, change it, and then just like that it will look different. Obviously in this case it's going to look strange because it's going to change the existing tiles to something else. We're going to, so in this case, let's add in a bit more grass. So you just select the tile you want and then paint it in. If you want to select bigger objects, you can do the select tool. I like the object and then you can drop them in. If you want to see how the player interacts, you go to movement permissions and it will lay out like this. One means you can't walk through it. Zero means it's a bridge, so it lets you go higher or lower. N is sort of the level up. So 10 is one point higher than C. So if you want to access it, you have to take the ladder. And then if you are in some of the water, let's go to the town up, you would have number four. So four is just where you get your surf, and then D is for your jumps. If you want to see how the player is going to move between them, click the little cross at the top, and then you get opened with this brand new window. This window will show you how your connections work. So you select the connection number, or you can add a new one by doing add or remove. And then you can select is it up or is it down. So in the case of this, we've got a town one is beneath us. And then you can just drag it across to see how it lines up. And it's as simple as that. If you want to add wild Pokemon into your game, just go to wild Pokemon. Pick the lowest level, the highest level, the chance of finding one in the grass. So in this case, 7% and going all the way up to 100. And then you can also pick from a drop down box of Pokemon. For this example, I can go up to generation eight because of the version of advanced map I have. You want to change events, this is your trainers or signposts, just go to events. Here you can see all the trainers or people you can talk to. You can also see warp tiles and signposts. So here's a signpost, I've not had a sign. You go to a town, you can see warp points. Warp points are what connect you from one town to an, uh, one place to another place. So you can double click it and you can see where it works into. In this case, it takes me into my home. And that's sort of the very basics you need. There is a header for the more complex metadata, change the size of your dimension or the tile set. But otherwise, you can start opening a game and making changes to it how you see fit. There are other tools I can go into which let you change trainers easily or let you do scripting using XSE. Or if you want to see how I've been doing it on my live using decompilation, I can always go into that. Otherwise, leave a comment, see what you think, and I'll see you next time.